fuerza al Señor. Gracias al farero, aleluya, gracias al farero. Lo que impide que yo vea tu gloria, quítalo, Señor. Aleluya, aleluya, aleluya. Bendecimos tu nombre, Señor. Bendecimos tu nombre, Señor. Que hubiera sido de nuestra vida si no hubiera sido por la gracia y la misericordia de Dios. Aleluya, te adoramos, Dios.
me has examinado y conocido Tú has conocido mi sentarme y mi levantar Has entendido desde lejos mis pensamientos Has escudriñado mi andar y mi reposo Y todos mis caminos te son conocidos Pues aún no está la palabra en mi lengua Y he aquí, oh Jehová, tú la sabes toda Detrás y delante me rodeaste Y sobre mí pusiste tu mano Tal conocimiento es demasiado maravilloso para mí Alto es, no lo puedo comprender ¿A dónde me iré de tu espíritu? ¿Y a dónde huiré de tu presencia? Si subiera a los cielos, allí estás tú Y si en el Seol hiciera mi estrado, Señor He aquí, allí tú estás Si tomara las alas del alba Y habitar en el extremo del mar Aún allí me guiará tu mano y me asirá tu diestra si dijere ciertamente las tinieblas me cubrirán Aún la noche resplandecerá alrededor de mí Aún las tinieblas no cubren de ti Y la noche resplandece como el día Lo mismo te son las tinieblas que la luz Porque tú me formaste Tú formaste mis entrañas Tú me hiciste en el vientre de mi madre te alabaré porque formidables, maravillosas son tus obras. Estoy maravillado y mi alma lo sabe muy bien. No fui cubierto de ti mi cuerpo, bien que en lo oculto fui formado y entretejido en lo más profundo de la tierra. Mi embrión vieron tus ojos y en tu libro estaban escritas todas aquellas cosas que fueron luego formadas. Preciosos me son, oh Dios, tus pensamientos, cuán grande es la suma de ellos, si los enumero, se multiplican más que la arena, despierto Señor, y aún estoy contigo, ¿a dónde iré sin ti?, ¿a dónde iremos sin ti?, no hay forma, queremos estar más cerca, más cerca de ti, más cerca de ti, sentirte más profundamente, Señor. Oh Dios. Lord 
and our precious Savior here today. Amen. You know, it's so wonderful to be in the house today and truly just being full of thankfulness where we can honor the Lord and glorify the Lord. And especially in this time of the year, we're already coming in. Come on now. We're already coming in. Coming in strong, coming in long for this time, for this hour, for this place, and for this space. You know, I was fighting this morning to fight for that spot here this morning. Amen. But you know, God is always on time. Amen. He's always on time. God is never late. And you know, He processes us through the thickness and through the to from the thickness even in the thinness of special times and of hours you know taking that time to be with the family the family still in town amen and just really going around and doing all the things uh, and there's also more visitations amen that we are visiting and wanting to visit even the more and you know especially this month this month you know, we need to start off running and pushing, amen, and to higher degrees and to the things which God has led us to, you know, especially knowing who you are, amen. You know, we put out a journal, come on now, the journal came out the beginning of this year, you need to get the journal, come on now, through our Amazon, and when you do that, I would love for you to go ahead, go on in, and also put in, uh, they, they have in some marks, they have in some stars, you know, you can write your comments, and really just put it in there, um, and that way it will, you know, come further up. Those that are family, those that are friends, and maybe those that are just curious. Come on now, be those curious, George. Get into the Amazon and author and minister Tina Vieska. The new, I put out the link. The journal is there. It's less than $10. I don't even think it's not even $7. I think it's right at the mark of $5.55. I think it's less than $5.99. Amen. Um, it's, I put it 550. That's grace for you. Pay those little bit of taxes. Hey, share with a loved one. Share with your family as well. Amen. And as you do that, you are knowing that you will see that increase within your life as we journal in together in this hours for the power march and in strong. Coming in long for this New Year's. Amen. I say it's the New Year's because we're freshly pressed off the market. Come on now. Coming into this New Year journaling. This year I want you to begin to journal. This year I want you to share on paper. Share what's going in in your mind. What's happening within your heart. Amen. Amen. At this time, even all these things that are coming in, even during the time of blessing, because we're going to hear the life of the teacher, Nicodemus. This is the word that we're coming in. And that's why I'm sharing with you here today. Write it down on paper. When you begin to write things down, you begin to see the giants that you're facing. You begin to see the things that are happening in your life. Amen. You begin to hear those things that, that the devil's putting in your ear, that the enemy is putting in your mind. All those seeds. Come on now. And, and, and we have to face those giants with the word of God, with the seeds of righteousness. We're not going to be feeding on what the devil's been telling us. We're going to be feeding on the Word of God. We're going to be feeding on what God is saying. God says we have the victory. God says that He loves us. Come on now. And God wants us to love on Him. Sometimes you may not feel the love that you want to be feeling. 
through others, through the different things that are happening, come on now, around the world, even amongst your loved ones. You may not feel the love of the people around you, the people that are near to you. You may feel like even, what are you doing? You know, it feels so very hard. But I'm telling you, I believe in this time and this hour that God's going to bring you into a people that will increase you in your knowledge. God's going to bring you around people that increase you in your life, that your march will be stronger, that your march will be bolder. Come on now, that you will begin to increase in your spirit, your soul, your body, and your mind. Why? Because you've changed your thinking you've changed your mind you've increased in your ways so that you can lay down the ways of the path to pick up the ways of the promise see God has so much increase in your life and what God has spoken he is teaching us out of the word of God even here today see sometimes things have to be shaken up in the night Sometimes things are shaken up in the morning. Sometimes things have to be shaken up even in your midnight hour, your, your, your nighttime hour, your midday, your mid morning. You know, we have to learn how to take the bite and come on now. We have to eat the dust because it doesn't matter what time of day, you know, for the Lord. The days is light every day, every day, even in our nighttime. You know what, church? We are still in the day. And I'm here to tell you, church, that God loves you with a passion. I love you with a passion. You know, my heart just gets ignited and excited when I know the platform that God has given me and to pouring into your lives here today our worldwide radio come on now across the board even through our social media platforms and I'm telling you God has a word for your life even in the midnight hour even in the midnight time when there's some praising going on people might think you're crazy no I'm not crazy you're crazy if you don't because You have to shake the dead stuff off. You have to shake off the haters and the backbiters. You have to shake off all the things that are trying to tear you down and bring you to your knees. The only thing that should be bringing us to our knees is our King Jesus. Come on now. That we are willing and ready to shout from the mountaintops here today. I want you to go to the Word of God with me there in the book of John, there in chapter 3. I'm going to be reading, and you've heard me once again, but we're going to hear it again, because I believe that God has a word from you. As I speak this Word of God here today, God has a word for your life here today, even through the life of Nicodemus. Are you listening to me, church? Through the word of God. Amen. I know we're podcasting. If you want to jot that down. Hey, take, tell Siri to take some notes. Uh, tell Google to take some notes. I'm telling you it's time to get into the word of God here today. Jesus teaches Nicodemus there in chapter 3. There at the book of John. Now there was a Pharisee, a man named Nicodemus, who was a member of the Jewish ruling council. That he came to Jesus at night. He's, I'm telling you, this is the Nick at night. And he said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God. And for no one could perform these signs that you are doing if you are not with him. See, God is reaffirming time and time again. That you would not be this teacher. You're coming in the night. And you wouldn't be coming in the night. If you weren't with him. You see what I'm saying. Even Nicodemus. 
was reaffirming the life of Christ Jesus here on earth and Jesus didn't he also replied to him for very very uh, you know what truly I tell you that no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again and so he's letting them know are you born again are you born again because we're looking at this from one point of view and now we're looking at it on Jesus' point of view telling Nicodemus are you born again? Are you born again? In other words, if you're seeking me in the night and surely you're reaffirming me that I am the teacher and that I truly have come from my father because you wouldn't be performing all these things but still you wouldn't know all these things if you weren't out of the kingdom of God and if you weren't born again so how can someone be born when they are old now Nicodemus is asking and now Jesus answered that surely I tell you that no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of the water and of the spirit. And so Nicodemus had been doing something right, but still there was something more that he need an encounter of being born of the water and being born of the spirit. Because the flesh will give birth to the flesh but it's the spirit that will give birth to the spirit. And so I'm reaffirming you today. Are you just only born of the flesh? Or are you born of the spirit as well? Because Jesus is saying, I'm born again, not only through flesh, but also through the spirit realm. Can I hear an amen? See, you should not be surprised at my saying that you must be born again. Because I've told you, and I've said time and time again, you know me, and you know all these things that I do. And I'm a reaffirming you, are you born again? And look what he tells them. The wind blows wherever it pleases, you hear about the sound, but you can't even tell me where that sound is blowing from or where it's coming from or even where it's going. And so it is with everyone that is born of the Spirit. See, when God tells you to do something and God blows that fresh breath upon your life, you have to know with a shadow of doubt, church, that you are born again. You're born again of the Spirit. You're born again of the overflow. You're born again of the might. You're born again of the power. You're born again of what God has spoken that He will tell you time and time again into the new life and into the new things of what God has spoken for your life here today. Let's see what's going on about this being born of the Spirit. Nicodemus asks, well, how can this be? You are Israel's teacher, Jesus said. And do you not understand these things? Because verily, verily, I tell you, we speak of what we know and we testify of what we have seen. But still, you people, you do not accept our testimony. Can we accept the testimony of our faith? We are or are we not? For I have spoken to you of these earthly things and you do not believe. I'm telling you, God is shaking our belief here today. 
Because look what he tells them. Do you not accept our testimony? Because I have spoken to you about earthly things and you do not believe. So how then will you believe if you speak these earthly things? I mean, we want to know about heavenly things. When I try to tell you even about earthly things, you don't even receive them. You don't even acknowledge them. And now you want me to tell you about heavenly things? In other words, where's your mind at? And not only your mind, but where's your spirit at? Because those who worship the Lord, we worship Him in spirit and in truth. Where is the spirit? Are you not born of the spirit realm here today? Because I'm telling you, we need to know about heavenly things. See, no one has ever gone to heaven except the one who came out of heaven. See, Jesus knows all about this. He's the son of man. Not only was he the son of God, but he was the son of man. And just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the son of man will be lifted up. In other words, he knew we were going to come against some snakes. But he also said the son of man must be lifted up that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. If we accept Jesus, okay, the son of man to be lifted up that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. We have to believe the son of man here on earth even to our earthly realm that in which we work and that in which we do, even to the lifting up of everyone who will believe in our earthly realm as well as to the heavenly realm. See, there's two realms in which we work in. We work in our heavenly realm as well as our earthly realm. See, if we were only working in the way of the Spirit, well then, what of our flesh? But we have to know that our flesh must be committed to the Spirit. But I can't live on the mountain all the time. I'm in this flesh. Are you with me, church? And we're going to battle out the flesh... To the ways of the spirit realm. See that's the reason why. He was reaffirming. Our Lord Jesus Christ. You're performing these signs. While he's here on earth. He's still being the teacher. Because he's here on earth. We're here in this kingdom. This heavenly kingdom. And we're born again. But yet. We're still all in the flesh. But as the Son of Man will be lifted up, everyone who believes will have this eternal life in Him. God wants us to believe, listen to me church now, even while we're in our flesh, even while we are in our spirit, that were born of God as well as we are born of the Spirit. Are you with me, church? Let me tell you why. Because the Word says, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son. He's the one and only. That whoever believes shall not perish, but have an eternal life. See, God wants to shift us from this eternal world into the eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world. See, He knew we were going to be in the world, and He doesn't want us to be condemned That we're in this world. But listen to the word. 
But to save the world, come on now, but to save the world through Him, through who? Through Jesus. Because whoever believes in Him is not condemned. I don't want you to be condemned by the things of the world and the issues of this world and all these situations of the world that we have to work through within our lives. Don't be condemned because that's where the enemy wants you to be. But listen to what the word of God says. For God did not send his son to the, into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Because whoever believes, see church right there, we must believe in him because whoever believes in him is not condemned. The more that we believe in God, the more that we channel in, not into the things of this world, but into the things of God, believing in God, the word says that we will not be condemned. Are you with me, church? But whoever does not believe, he's condemned, he's already condemned. He stands condemned already because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only son. And see, that is where the enemy wants to trip us up as the church to keep us in the darkness, to allow us not to believe. Because when we don't believe, that's when we won't receive. We must believe that God came into the world to save us from sicknesses, from diseases, from sicknesses, from shame, from guilt, from all diseases, and from the dishes. And I'm saying of our belief system to trip us up not to believe in the Son of God. See, because even when Jesus was here on earth, he still ate, he still commuted, he was still about his father's business. Come on now. He was meeting, he was greeting, he was eating, he was cooking. Why? Because he was the son of man, as well as he was and is, come on now, the son of God. And when we don't believe, the word says that we will be standing in condemnation already because we have not believed in God's one and only son. He's the only one that we must believe in to receive and that's the reason why God is saying this is the verdict light has come into the world but people love the darkness instead of the light because their deeds were evil see are we working the deeds of righteousness are we working the deeds of blessed assurance Jesus is mine See, everyone who does evil, they're going to hate the light and will not come into the light for the fear that their deeds will be exposed. No, I'm telling you, I brought out the light. Come on now. I've literally brought out the light into the darkness so that we can come to the light and come away from the deeds of darkness. Listen to me, church. Because everyone who does evil, they hate the light and will not come into the light for the fear that their deeds will be exposed. I'm telling you, we are exposing the deeds of darkness and coming in to the Father of light. But whoever lives by the truth, I'm telling you today, are you living by the truth today? Because we, as we live in the truth, we shall come to the light. 
so that it may be seen plainly that with they have done have been done in the sight of God. We're coming in in the truth here today. But whoever lives by the truth comes to the light so that we may see plainly that what they have done has been done in the sight of God. See, it's like I shared with you early church, that even in the dark, God sees plain light. He knows our heart and he sees our present situation where the Lord says, this is what the Lord says. He is testifying. And he testifies of being baptized and coming unto this light. See, after this, Jesus and his disciples went into the Judean countryside. Where he spent some time with them and he baptized them. And now John also was baptizing at Enon near Salem. Because there was plenty of water. And people were coming and being baptized. If you haven't been baptized. I ask you come to the light today. And be baptized into the way of the spirit. And if you haven't been baptized. I'll even baptize you. If you are somewhere around this area. And this metroplex. I'll be more than happy to baptize you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. That God will baptize you into your new life. If you're a member of the church, I'm telling you, get baptized. Allow the Spirit of the Lord to baptize you so that you may have a change of heart and have a change of life into your new baptism. Make a way. Where there seems to be no way into this realm of being baptized. See the Lord says that he took him into this place where there was more than enough water. Where people were coming and being baptized. And this was before John was even put in prison. That an argument even developed between John's disciples and a certain Jew over the matter of the ceremonial washing. And they came to John and they said, Rabbi, that man who was with you on the other side of the Jordan, the one that you were testifying about, that's the testimony. Look, he's baptizing and everyone is now going to him. They didn't know. They were confused. But listen to happen. We're almost wrapping it up, church. To this. John replied here today that a person can receive only what is given from him from heaven. So you yourselves can testify that I said, I'm not the Messiah. I'm not the one. But I am sent ahead of him. And the bride belongs to the bridegroom. And the friend who attends the bridegroom, he awaits and he listens for him. See, this is to be full of joy that when he hears the bridegroom's voice, that joy is mine and that it is now complete. That he must become greater and I must become less. You know why, church? Because we are those who bring the message. And the message of the great I am is living and ruling and reciting inside of us. So that we may, as children of God, pour into the life of others. You, your brothers, your sisters, your mothers, your brothers, 
your loved ones, your mates, your spouses, your children. See, I'm the light, but of the greater light of the one that is inside me, that I may become less, so that he may become greater. See, this is the voice of the one that is crying out even in the wilderness. Because the one who comes from above is above all. And the one is, is from the earth, belongs to the earth. And he speaks as one from the earth. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. Are you listening to me, church? That he testifies to what he has seen and what he has heard. That's the testimony. But the one who accepts his testimony, whoever has accepted it, has certified that God is truthful. And that's what I'm telling you here today, church. God is truthful. We're here to accept the testimony of our Lord and of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Because whoever has accepted it, it has certified. I'm telling you, we are certified in the house here today that God is truthful. God is not a liar, nor is he the son of man, that he shall repent. I'm telling you today, church, that Jesus Christ is Lord. For the one whom God has sent, he speaks the words of God. And for God, he gives of his spirit without the limit. And this is the father who loves the son, who has placed everything even in his hands. Are you with me, church? Because whoever believes in the Son has the eternal life. But whoever even rejects the Son, come on now, will not see life. Listen to me, church. And I'm going to repeat that again, and then I'm going to pray with you. Because whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever believes in this life, and the life of Christ and the eternal light that is living within us. Whoever believes in the Son has, e has eternal life, but whoever rejects the Son will not see life, for God's wrath remains on him. See, I'm telling you, church, God has made a way where there seems to be no way. And he's bringing us every day into the eternal life of Christ. Of You say, you know what, Sister Tina? I believe, but I have some misbelief. I want to pray with you today to draw closer to the light. Draw, draw closer to the light and to the life of Christ that he has made us to be living testimonies of faith to live here on earth not even and only to the earthly realm that we live the life of Christ and the life of this flesh here on earth but also in the way of the spirit to worship Him in spirit and in truth here today. And if you failed along the way, I want to pray with you. If you failed in your faith, I want to pray for you. If you could say, my heart has not been right, I want to pray with you and for you here tonight. If you could say, I've been a Nicodemus. I've been a Nicodemus. And I'm saying, Lord, making it right here tonight. As we gather together in the saints, 
If we gather today here in the love, if we gather today in our belief, Lord, remove any misbelief in our hearts as you gather us in your love, spirit, soul, body, and mind. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, I come before you, Lord, with a humble heart. Lord, that you will wash us and that you will cleanse us, Lord. Create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me, Lord. That if I have fallen along the way, if I have fallen in the cracks of this life, if I've taken my eyes off of you, I ask you, Lord, to wash me and cleanse me with your precious blood here today. Have your way. Even where there seems to be no way, Lord. My belief and my trust. My trust and my belief in you. My system of acknowledging of who you are in my life. Have your way here, my life here today, Father God. Forgive me, Lord. Cleanse me, Lord. Wash me, Lord. Make me whole here today, Father God. Lord, that there will be nothing missing and nothing broken in my heart, in my spirit, in my soul, in my body, and in my mind. Have your way, have your way, have your way. Have your way, O oh Lord. Have your way, Jesus. Amen. Church, if you said that prayer here today, church, I pray as the angels are excited here with me here today, Lord. Hallelujah. Let the angels rejoice in the house here today. That there's newness of life. There's increase in life as ever before. From the very crown of your head to the very soles of your feet here today. Let's lift up. Let's lift up. All the name of Jesus here today. And if you said that prayer here with me today, church, I want you to feel free to message me. Amen. Hallelujah. Feel free to message me in the house here today. Amen. As we love and as we glorify the name of the Lord here today, church. Give him some praise. Give him some praise. Give them some glory.
Ora ba 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 ka sanda yere be be be. We wait for you. Ora ba 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 ka samba ye iyo. We wait for you. Ora ba 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 ka sanda yere be ke shende ye. from the crown of your head to the very soles of your feet, that there will be nothing missing and nothing broken as we continually to walk wrong, long and strong here in this life, here on earth, doing the things of God, shaking the nations, blessing our third world nations. Keep on remaining strong and long here in the house today. As we gather in the Lord, we're gathering in the saints. Hallelujah. Blessing the name of the Lord thy God. I want to see you soar. Come in. Be a blessing. Buy the merch. Hallelujah. Be a blessing. Look me up on Amazon. Start journaling in this new year. Look me up, Tina Vieska, author and minister. There are ebooks are available as well to lifting up the name of our 
Lord, Lord, and Savior. Thank you for all those who have channeled in with us through our uh, social media platforms there, Tina Viesca, Cruzando Fronteras con una Voz de Alerta, Crossing Borders International, also our groups and our families. God bless you, church, as we end on this podcasting here today, as well as on our broadcasting through our social media platforms. We love you, church, there. Our, our speaker fam, Spotify, our heart radio, come on now. We are there sharing the gospel across the ro- globe. There for your house and in my house here today. We love you, church. Until next time.